Welcome to Carpentry and Me. <laughs> So, I didn't really have any real reason to buy the bar, except I wanted one, so that's why I bought that. But in today's episode, we'll just have a quick catch up of what's been happening on site, seeing as I haven't really been doing much filming this week. And we'll see where we're at and where we're going to be next week. So we're almost finished putting up the floor joists, we're down in the living areas, we've still got a wee bit to do out here, but it's going up pretty quick, so it shouldn't take too long. So behind me is some of the flooring, we've got the tantalised sheets on top, which we'll put in our wet areas, and below is just your untreated flooring, which goes in the rest of the common areas. So we couldn't source enough high span to do this area where the joists are running that way. Uh, the engineer wanted high span, but he opted for 245 by 45 joists at 300 centers instead. So we had a big push last week to get over towards the stairs but we actually got further and we got into the living spaces, so we're almost done. That, so this week we had a couple of contractors who needed some work for a week, and so they built the eave, they lay all this flooring for us, did a heap of work downstairs, but we don't need to look at that, and gave us a real big push. In other tool news, I've put a grip on my hammer. I just used a baseball grip. Seems to have worked fine. Time will tell. But that is going to get annoying. So, nice. I'll chuck it back there. And voila. Tail. 